Hi there, I'm Marshley Scott. Being self-employed and being a mum at the same time, it can bring so much positive energy around you. I've been in employed work before. I've been in many jobs from retail to hospital work. But the most enjoyment I've got is playing the saxophone, playing music, singing, just doing whatever I, I feel that my, my truth is. My history of work is, but I went to university and I studied the BA Applied Music course um, in Strathclyde University. Then to get my house from, with my children and my partner at the time, um, I went done a retail job and I worked full time so I could save up as much as I could to get a, a actual, so we got a flat and then I left that job because I was pregnant with Marley. I, this is my firstborn as a girl. Just after Flynn was born, I wanted to feel like I was getting my own time to do, to bring in some money um, for the family. But I had, at that time, I had a hospital job at Cross House Hospital. It was really fantastic. The, the, the people that were there, the staff are excellent. The work that they do is just, it's just amazing. And I'm so proud to be a part of it. The band were getting really, really busy at the time. So I decided to step back from the hospital, hopefully going, going back to it because it was really, really rewarding work. But I decided to go full time as a musician. Now, looking back at it, it was the best decision I have ever ever made in regards to me and the work. I have brought in so much money for my kids. I'm so so proud. I split up with their dad um, which was really sad but our, our paths were just meant to split ways at the time um, and I began to be a single mum and we had to find a new house I had loads and loads of solo saxophone gigs lined up. Everyone wanted a female saxophone player, which is just amazing. I'm so proud to be female, um, to, to be really good at what I do. Or You know, a lot of people don't believe in themselves. But seeing this game, you really, really need to just go, yeah, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm good. You know, if people are, are putting all their faith in you and paying for you, you're, you must be good. So I had to try to have that belief in myself. And I made the big decision to market myself as a solo saxophonist. I'm so proud of what I've accomplished. I've played at weddings, evening reception, which is me playing an hour at night or up to an hour at night. And I'm in the middle of the dance floor and I'm, I'm bringing in the crowd and that's their entertainment for that section of the night. Um, it's, it's always a laugh. I'm, I'm so proud of what I do. Um, it's so great to see everyone enjoy themselves. When I play drinks receptions during the day, I have to get babysitters um, af for after school or, or, or for the full day. If, it, if it's Usually I leave about, um, let's see, about 10 o'clock in the morning and then I'm not home till about half five, half six at night. So I need to get babysitters. Now that's one of the hardest things that I have to do and keep up. Because I'm a single mum, I'm fully funding um, babysitters. I usually use a trusted babysitter or my um, my brother. Since taking that step, that huge big step and deciding to come away from from the, the security of being employed as a PAE, uh, if that's how you say it, I don't know. Now this video has been shot at the coronavirus pandemic for the full world. This has had a really, really, really big effect on so many musicians, so many self-employed people, so many employed people, but employed people in the UK at least um, are getting 80% um, of the wage, which is excellent from the government. But I'm really happy that the government are doing that for us. Uh, but it is an uncertain time for musicians, for the likes of me and um, my, the whole team of, in Hira Band, we're really, really worried because all of our gigs, all the weddings, all big social gatherings have been, you know, you can't, we can't go there. We've lost so many weddings. We've lost April, May, June, July. Now that's just up to July. I'm not quite sure if August will actually come about. Um, but the the amount of couples that have, have contacted me and contacted the band, um, and they're so, so worried that, that their day is have to be postponed. It's a really hard thing when the venue or the government tells them, you can't have your wedding. Um, so we, as suppliers, as musicians, are doing all we can to reschedule their dates, um, which is really hard because if you're in a really, really busy wedding band or you're a busy musician, a solo musician, <laughs> 
I mean, the dates, I mean, my my 2021 dates are, are so fastly filling up and they, they have been already before the coronavirus, but now there's not leaving much room for new clients. But, you know, the, the existing clients are the most important at this time just because, um, you know, they booked you, they've put your faith. They've gave you a booking fee months ago to a year ago to two years ago. So they come first when you um, are looking at your diary. Uh, financially, I have lost, so far I've lost two gigs, solo gigs, because I've not been able to rearrange for other dates. And I'm really, really sad because I was really looking forward to playing at their weddings, but it was so understandable. Their, their bigger uh, suppliers, like their, their photographers, their videographers, and their venues, you know, they need to match up. And if, and if I can't match up as, a, as, a, as an entertainer, to entertain their guests, um, they'll just they just have to find a, a replacement, which is a shame. But I really wish them all the best. In my wedding band, the Stereo Beats, we're so lucky to have David Blair. He is the keyboard player in our band, and he's the manager of the whole band. Um, without him, you know, we, we we would have lost all our existing clients for the coronavirus. He's working tirelessly to to make sure that people can still have us in 2021 or the end of the year. Now, we have lost, a f again, we have lost um, a few weddings, which I'm really, really sorry about. They always follow us on Instagram, they follow us on Facebook, and for them to, for us to lose them, it's a really, really sad time. We really hope you find the perfect band for your wedding, and it's going to be amazing anyway, so good luck. After my work, I am so, so happy with my children. I can't wait to see them. And because I do what I love and I make money in, in doing what I love, I'm just, the, the energy around me is so much happier than I was when I was working, um, say, in retail. I'm coming home, I'm feeling liberated because I've done really good things for people. I'm, I've entertained the nation or, or the crowd at that time. Um, I've done good, but I've done my part. And I'm coming home to my babies who I love so, so, so much. The key to happiness in work, I think, is doing what you love. Just think, just think, what, what do I love? What's my passion? Is it being an artist, being an illustrator? Is it being an actor, an actress, um, being in a wedding band? Anything that you really feel in your heart you're really good at and that you really have so much passion for, that's the key. I am lucky, I feel that I have, I'm lucky that um, in Scotland at least, there's a huge, huge market for being a musician in the wedding scene. I'm really, really lucky. I, currently I'm the only female saxophone player in Scotland that's, that's, the, that's making money doing the scene. I really wish people and other saxophone players can come on the scene too. It's a great thing to see. I know amazing saxophone players who are men that are currently on the scene. One of them being Conrad Wisniewski. I hope I've said that right. He was my teacher at uni and he's just, he's got such a, an amazing sound. And I, I think he's one of the best saxophone players in Scotland. He's, but he's doing weddings and he's been doing weddings for quite a long time. I think the cons of being self-employed and being a mum is sometimes, see if you're really, really nervous about a wedding you're doing or a, or a, a party you're doing or a, just a gig you're really, really worried about. See, in nighttime gigs, I, I do get worried, I'm being truthful, because it's, there's so much pressure on you as a, a solo musician to, uh, to perform, to make sure that everyone is really, really enjoying it. Now, I dance like a maddie on the dance floor. I do every time, but sometimes I think, is this too much? You know, is, is, is people look at me going, yeah, I think you hope she can calm down now. Um, so sometimes I do worry and I get I get in my head and I'm not saying I've got an anxiety, but, I, you know, things are, are getting to me. Uh, and, and, and as a wee fear in my mind, and it's grew larger and larger, but you should never let fear stop you. So you need to fight against that fear. Although, if you're really, really not happy about something, you know, listen to your gut and um, 
do what's right for you and your family because if you're not if you're coming home every time that in, in your self-employed job and and you're not happy you need to think right what what's worth is is the kids being happy with me and me being happy with them um worth more than me coming home continue to get loads and loads of work but being really happy and taking it in the kids sometimes i do take it in the kids and um, sometimes i get short with them um, if, I, if I'm not happy, but that doesn't happen that often because I, I am very, very happy in my self-employed work. One thing I would like to do is when they're a wee bit older, maybe 10, I'd say, I would like to take them to my gigs. Um, even if it's just like a wee short gig, like me, a charity gig that I'm playing for half an hour, I really want to, for them to see what it's all about, the entertainment business, making people feel really, really good. I want them to see there and, and let them be inspired by not just me as a mum, but as a person and that you can do whatever you want to do in your life and, and, and see the happiness that's coming out. I want them to come and see me perform. My children's dad, Craig, he's a hairdresser. He's got big, big curly hair. Um, and a lot of people go, what do you work as? And he goes, I'm a hairdresser. And they're like, okay. <laughs> but anyway, so the kids go and see him every every weekend, well, every second weekend. And they go to his work. I drop them off at his work. And they get to see their dad doing what he really, really loves to do, which is cutting people hair, making people feel really good and um, styling them, making them feel really pretty or, or cool or, or handsome. So they're getting to see their mum doing what she wants to do and what she loves, bringing in the money. And then you've got your dad who who has been doing hairdressing for such a long time, um, but he's still so, so passionate about it because he loves the people. He loves making people feel good. I like making people feel good with my music and he likes pe making people feel good with God in my hair. So the main thing is for um, being, a, being a parent, I'd say, is try and show your kids, you know, do something that you, you really want to do. You don't need, it doesn't need to be a full-time job, but always make sure that they know that being good at something and believing in yourself is attractive. Now, at school, they've got this thing in the UK called World of Work Week. And recently, I went into the primary school in, in where my kids are from. And I offered to go in with my saxophone, with my two speakers, and play some music for them and show the kids. I think it was primary ones, primary twos, and primary sixes. Uh, primary sixes because that's when you first try and learn an instrument for, for band. Um, for you know like high school further than on in your your education so they really really responded really well they loved do you know what song they loved they loved proud mary they all went mad for proud mary and then i played pump it up by ender which is really actually weird to play with, uh, the saxophone too because it's, it doesn't really go where but it's it's, it's, the, it's a cool song answered loads of questions that they had which was What's about, oh, I'm a piano player. Can you play piano? Do you know, I've got a piano in my house, but I'm not so good. I can play Baba Black Sheep in it. I can play a basic version of Titanic. Once this coronavirus shenanigans is over, we're going to go and play for the nursery children, which could be, could be wild. Uh, we're going to bring some drum, drum stuff, some maracas, some tambourines, and we'll bring the saxophone and the bass and we'll play some music for them and hopefully they enjoy it as much as the, the Premier 1, Premier 2 and Premier 6s did. But I think they're going to be a bit more wild and they're going to be touching the, the instruments a little bit more. If you have any questions at all about being a, a, a parent, a mum or a dad, uh, being a single parent or being um, a, a, a musician and being self-employed, please give me a message if or, or comment down below. I'm really, really happy to, to talk to you and um, get the conversation going. And maybe I'll make another wee video of all the questions that you've asked me. But thank you so much. And I hope you en enjoyed hearing my side of being a mum, being a single mum, and being a self-employed musician. <laughs> if you want to hear more from the Sax and Marsh channel, just hit the subscribe button. I can never say that really fast. Subscribe, subscribe. Hit the subscribe. 
hit the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell so that you're always updated with the, the new uploads I bring to you. Please like, share and comment. If there's anything you would like to see from me in the future, for me to talk about, for me to play, please just comment down below and I will do my best. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.